Hi, hello everyone, and now we are going to start our another lesson, chapter 10, India Agriculture. As we are built on agriculture, our country is based on agriculture and its products. Now it's, uh, you know, we have to know it's, uh, it's our responsibility when we can say it's our uh, moral duty that we have to go through agriculture. What is there in India? Which type of agriculture, which type of crops we are having, which seasons are there. So lots of lots of knowledge regarding this thing we need it. Which type of grain, whatever we are eating early in the morning till night, let we go to our back. Let's go, let's start our new lesson over there. Since ancient times, agriculture has remained a prime economic activity of most of the people in India, even today. Also, main support of the Indian economy is agriculture. Agriculture is an important resource of India. About 60% of the labor power is engaged in agriculture. Besides supplying food to the people of the India, raw material for many industries also comes from agriculture. Agriculture occupies about 22% of the national product. Please underline this thing. Agriculture occupies about 22% of the national product. Crops and other farm products hold about 18% contribution in export, which earns huge foreign exchange. Please underline this thing also. How many percentage? 18% contribution is of agriculture and agriculture product that are exported to foreign countries from India and can get few huge foreign exchange. The Indian economy is mainly dependent on agriculture. Thus, India is an agrarian country and like this thing. Indian economy stands within agriculture. So, India is an agrarian, 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 whatever you want to translate, it's, uh, pronounce, it's up to you, country. In most of the area in India, two or more crops annually can be taken due to the factors like fertile plains, favorable climate for around the year, cultivation, irrigation skill, and hardworking farmer, etc. Even then, the progress in the field of agriculture is not sufficient, though we are cultivating approximately two crops per year. It is not sufficient. The Indian farmers are generally poor and uneducated. Agriculture production in India much less compared to the world due to reasons like inadequate facilities of irrigation, Irregular and uncertainty of the rain, more population, larger families, small farms, no interest in experimentation, less usage of chemical fertilizers, modern machinery and scientific approach for cultivation, educated mass of being away from agriculture, the so-called lower status for agriculture in the society, etc. So as we are facing, no doubt we got vast land over there agricultural land over in India, but we are not uh, doing the best because of lack of knowledge. First of all, I am repeating the more word knowledge, 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 education, education, education. It's with stand within this, this because we must know our farmers, most probably they are uneducated, some illiterate, having large family, most of the part consideration as yes, we can take this population of India, new techniques, new uses of chemical fertilizer, etc. We are not aware of this. So in terms of agriculture, we are a little bit backwards towards the another nations of the world. Now types of farming, how many types of farming are there? The socio-economic condition of the people of India, administrative policy and the entire Indian economy are associated with agriculture. As I told earlier, every form, every uh, part of India is considered as even socially, if you can say, economically, we can say that it are well, in one or two extent connected to each other. What agriculture is connected to? Year one, yeah, each other section, your part, your towns, your forms, you can say. Now,
नंबर वन इज सब्सटिस सॉरी सब्सिस्टेंस फॉर्म After independence, many agricultural development projects are implemented. Yet the economic condition of the Indian farmer is very weak even today. Costly seeds, fertilizers, and uses of insecticides are not affordable in the smaller farm only. Apart, the farm production is just sufficient for his family and is consumed in the maintenance of the family. This is called subsistence. farming so even today indian agriculture is considered to be an activity for life maintenance only so small farms farmers are having small part of field land etc apart from that they uh, the seeds and the fertilizers insecticides pesticides chemical fertilizer etc are too much what cheap for them no they are not cheap they can not buy this all the even the mentality of a particular farmer is that yes i can fulfill this uh, for a particular amount of agriculture product i will feed my family it's sufficient for me so expansion is not there and this type of farming is called subsistence farming now dry farming what is that Where the rainfall is inadequate, irrigation facilities are less. There, farming is dependent on only rain. Only one crop is taken through the humidity accumulated within the land. This is known as dry farming, where there is no rain and only with the help of humidity. Whatever the texture of humidity is there in the land, the farming is cultivated. Yeah, the crop, yeah, whatever the agriculture material, it is being cultivated over there. crops like jua millet and pulses which requires less water are grown here in gujarat wheat and gram are grown in the humid solid after the monsoon is over so whatever humidity we can say is there in the land in that land jua bajra we can say and some pulses those who consume less water are cultivated there so it is called dry farming now wet farming wet farming is carried out in the regions of heavy rain and adequate facility for irrigation if there is no rainfall or if it is sufficient more than one crop is taken with the help of irrigation where in paddy sugarcane cotton wheat and vegetables are grown wet wet farming obviously the word wet uh, insist uh, that lots of rainfall or facility of irrigation through canals or water from the rivers sea at the north sea rivers ponds etc they get the sufficient water so wheat paddy like crops are grown over there different kind of vegetables are there that are can be grown now shift zoom agriculture here forests are burned and cleared and farming is carried out there the farming take places for two or three years When soil fertility is reduced, that area is abandoned, and the same method is applied to start farming at another place. This is called zone cultivation. Cereals or vegetables are grown in this type of agriculture. The production is less in type of agriculture. In zone shifting farming means a particular land is there, it is with burn, yeah, jungle, yeah, forest, etc. Then farming is done for such a particular time. Yeah, for particular years, and after when the land loses its fertility, the same system it has been changed to another part where there another forest, another jungle is there, another land is there. They cultivate a few uh, crops over there for certain period, and they shift. This is called shifting. Then zoom farming. Now plantation agriculture. this special type of agriculture here rubber tea coffee cocoa coconut apple mango oranges grapes amla marmalade lemon khare khalela dried date etc are raised and grain care it is necessary that there should be more capital investment skill technical technical knowledge machines fertilizer production on all side acquisition and transport facility plantation agriculture means we can say plantation planning systematic agriculture is done over there it needs lots of capital lots of knowledge uses of fertilization 
uses of irrigational uh, irrigations, yeah, irrigational equipments, etc. So we get this mango, dates, here, yeah, amla, and whatever, many many things over there in plantation agriculture. Now intensive farming, intensive, some intention is there. Intentionally you are doing so. Intentionally you are watching your videos that intense farming is a uh, mechanized way of farming through utilization of increased irrigation use of chemical fertilizer insecticides and other mechanical equipment cash crop grow more in this type of farming the per hectare production has increased very much here and the area sown under these crops has increased as a more yeah as more importance is given to economic returns in this type of farming it is also known as commercial planning so you can make your own business of in farming here it is written intensial farming so with a great intense you can do farming particular yes i want to show this thing for example we can go to cotton Yes, in this particular area, I will go through cotton. I will take the crop of cotton. Yeah, I will take the cotton. I will take the crop of mustard. Yeah, even today, these uh, fruits are being grown in our in, uh, even grapes from Sabarkata. First of all, we have to import from Na uh, from uh, Nasik or yeah, Maharashtra. But now we can grow. So it is intensive farming with lots of equipment, new equipment, proper. Uh, proper direction, proper planning of farming is done and one can earn lots and lots of money by this type of intention farming. Now farming method, which are the farming method? Organic farming, sustainable farming, mixed farming etc. Some of the current method of farming in India. What is organic farming? Nowadays in new world, today there is a system that yes, the thing is organic, organic wheat, organic uh, jaggery, People gives lot pay lots and lots of money pay. They used to pay for jaggery and many many and ghee is also some of them say organic ghee. So what are they? the area at which the chemical fertilizer and insects are used? The destructive effect of this chemical is also felt due to the presence of this chemical and insecticides in grain, vegetables and fruit. It has affected adversely the hygiene of the people. More damage is caused to the environment. The productive capacity and fertility of the land has reduced, due to which the crop production of the land and its quality were reduced over a long run. So what happens as today's world, as we are going to see, going through that the whatever even vegetables, yeah, some grains, etc., are grown by uh, to, uh, doing this uh, particular type of uh, farming using lots and lots of insecticides pesticides and hybrid materials and due to that the hygienic yeah, yeah hygienic symptom we can say hygienic process of that particular uh, crop is being uh, what we can say is is be affecting the health of the people so what happens now it is seen now organic farming is that method of farming in which Urea or any other chemical fertilizer and insecticides are not used for the nutrition of the crop, dung, earthworm fertilizer, composite fertilizer, etc. are used. Cow urine, neem solvent, buttermilk, etc. are used for the production of crops. The organic products are full of nutrition. So nowadays people are running over to organic products. They contain natural taste, sweetness, and fragrance too. There are minerals, vitamin, and life energizing elements in the crops. Nowadays, organic farm products are more in demand, so the farmer also get a good return. So, organic material, organic products are in good form, are having vitamins, lots of vitamins, multivitamins, etc. In their minerals, salt, whatever we need it, hygienic food, we can say. We get from and it is natural base as no no other fertilizer, insecticides, urea, etc. are using it. So it's in good demand and in whatever it is in good demand, the farmer can earn more and more. Now sustainable farming again we got 
in order to see that the soil fertility is retained for a longer time care is taken for crop rotation use of chemical fertilizers only when necessary use of biotic control for insect and harvest water conservation etc sustainable farming means sustain only a limitation type of fertilizers etc are given to the land that that don't reduce the fertility of the land and we can get a very good crop over there so it is called sustainable now mixed farming here the cattle raising for the sericulture and fishery etc are also carried out simultaneously along with farming along with farming some other extent for we can say side businesses also is the cattle raising business fishing development of fishing industry and lots and lots are being done with the farming too as we had seen in many fields over there that uh, farms are there this uh, crop farms are there that goats farm are there animal husbandry business is done apart from farming by particular farmer this is called mixed farm now what is there Agricultural products. What are the agricultural products of India? As per the season, the agricultural crops of the Indian can be grouped into three categories. That is, Khari, Rabi, and Zay. Please underline this all, uh, whatever you can say, box, and read it by heart. One question, obviously, you will get it different between this crop and that crop, this that and this. And apart from that, you might get short not in your board examination. Now crops which are kharif means monsoon crop, rabi means winter crops and zay means summer crops. We will go with kharif. Crops which are taken during rainy seasons are called kharif crop. Time for this crop is from June, July to October, November. Paddy, maize, zua, millet, cotton, teal, garnered, mug and mut are kharif crops. Now rabi, crops which are taken during the winter are called rabi crops. Time of this crop is October, November to March and April. Wheat, gram, barley, mustard, linseed, etc. are rabi crops. Linseed means tal. As you know, I'm sorry for my Gujarati, but just to know you. Now, zay means summer crop. Crop which are grown during summer are called zay crop. Time for the crops is March to June. Paddy, maize, groundnut, millet, tea. And fruit like water, uh, watermelon, cucumber, musk melon, etc., are zay crops. So, this type of classification of different types of crops, you have just to by heart this thing. This will help also in your future too. Now, major agricultural crops due to the diversity, the geographic condition, climate variety of land, the amount of rainfall, etc., different crops are grown in different parts of India. We can see the different crops are grown in different part in India. Major growing agriculture products of India: food grains, paddy, wheat, jua, millet, maize, barley, pulses, tuar, moong, gram, peas, bean, mud, udak, lentil, oil seed, groundnut, teal, soybean, castor, mustard, sunflower, coconut, linseed, beverages, tea, coffee, and cocoa. Cash crops like cotton, sugarcane, jute, tobacco, and rubber. Condi uh, condiments are cumin seed, fennel, isabgul, coriander, fenugreek, azwine, ajmo, black pepper, and garlic. Fruits like mango, banana, chiku, papaya, grape, jugubi, juzobe, sorry, apple, and guava. Vegetables like potato, brinjal, onion, buttergourd, turia, lettuce finger, cabbage, cauliflower, various spinach. So this type of particular crops and agriculture products are grown in India, especially in high range. Whatever we eat today, whatever we get today, are, is grown in India. We all take the taste of different fruits and different vegetables, no doubt. Many of my children, many of my these stars, they don't like to eat particular type of vegetable. What is Tulia? You can say if mommy is doing that. Then God, then bitter God. No, they hate this thing, but whatever God has given to us, each and everything is essential 
it's needed for our body to now we will continue with food grains are the grains are collected in about 75% of the total area sown and about 50% of the total production comes from grain major food grains are as follow please go through these about 75% of the total area sown paddy rice first number Paddy is our most important crop. A large majority of the world and about half of the population of India uses rice. India stands second in the world after China in paddy production. Please underline this thing. Paddy is sown over one fourth of the total sown area. Paddy is a crop of toddy zone. This also might come, come into play in the blends, MCQ, methylphenol, etc. Hot and humid climate, minimum temperature of 20 degrees centigrade, fertile alluvial soil. And more than 100 cm rainfall are necessary for more production in the regions of less poor rainfall in Punjab, Haryana, and Uttar Pradesh. This crop is taken through irrigation. More human labor is necessary for particular paddy cultivation. West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Bihar, Odisha are the major paddy product states. This the crop is taken two or three times in West Bengal because of lots and lots of water. Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Orissa and Tamil Nadu. In Gujarat, paddy is grown in Surat, Tapi, Panchmal, Ahmedabad, Kheda, Anand, Valsad districts. Paddy requires more water. However, instead of keeping the paddy fields fully under water, paddy is grown by irrigation through sprinkling using less water. Paddy grows only and only with, the, with the sufficient water. But nowadays, the new system, new irrigation system it has been sprinkling system the paddy is grown and yes we are successful in that process too now wheat wheat is the second important crop of in our country after paddy wheat is grown over one third of arable land of our country it is a sustainable food of the people of north india west india wheat is a rabbit of temperature zone Temp sorry, temperate job. It requires black or fertile loam soil and more than 75 degree of annual rainfall. What wheat can be grown in the regions of lesser rainfall with irrigation? What cannot be grown in the area receiving more than 100 rainfall? Less labor force is required as, mecha or as mechanization is introducing in wheat culture. After the green revolution, the wheat production is almost double. Wheat cultivation is carried out mostly in Punjab, Haryana and West, Western Uttar Pradesh. The state contributes about one two-third of the total national production of wheat. As there is irrigation facility in the states, there is more per hectare production. Due to the canal water in Punjab, there is abundant wheat production. That is why Punjab is called as wheat ball of India, please underline this thing. Wheat ball of India is Punjab. Wheat is also produced in the state of Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, West Bengal, etc. Balia wheat, Balia gom, you can see, is produced in the Bal region of Gujarat, the king of all wheats. Beside, Mesana, Rajkot, Junagadh, Kheda also produces wheat. Among all food grains used in the daily meals, wheat is the best. Many items like roti, bakri, sev, shiro, lapsi, ladu, sukri, bread, puri, cake, biscuit, etc. are prepared from wheat. Among all grains, wheat is the most nutritious. That is why wheat is also called as the king of grain. Please underline this thing. As it is having lots and lots of nutrition, amount of nutrition in it, it is called the king of grain. You can utilize this thing, utilize this crops in the, uh, we can say map given on your page number 79. You can get to the, uh, the names that are being uh, that, you know, I, uh, what uh, my mouth was watering when I was going through this uh, lapsi and ladu and sukri and this all day. My YouTube. Let's go Jawar, Bajra, Maize and Belly are major crops. Grains grown in India. Now Jawar. Jawar is the most produced grain in India after paddy and wheat. This crop is grown widely in the dry and less rainy region of the southern peninsula. 
Juwar is both Kharif and Rabi crop. Temperature between 25 to 30 degrees centigrade. 125 centimeter of rainfall. Black and loamy soil are favorable condition. It is produced in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat state. Maximum farming of Juwar is in Gujarat. In Gujarat is done in Surat and Tapi district. One of the very good, uh, we can say, grain to eat, no doubt. We are just giving to this grain early in the morning. Our forefathers, our grandfather, our grandmother, our parents, they used to give some grains to the birds and most probably juwar is used. In Bombay and yeah, in many other cities there is a particular land over there to feed the pigeons and many many others birds and most probably juwar is there to feed them. Why if you can see that uh, uh, birds are more interested in juwar because you, your intestine works uh, very good in this type of grain. So you can see that even pigeons are eating but we human beings are running away from that thing. The roti or rotla of zuar made in with uh, wheat uh, flour or yeah, bajra flour we can say. Uh, it's uh, very good for our health. It looks little uh, bit of pinkish in color. And you can enjoy this thing if you want say to mummy try zuar roti and it is very good for health containing lots and lots of fiber and very good for our intestine too. Now millet. Millet is considered to be the grain of laborers. It grows in the region having temperature between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius between 40 to 50 centimeter rain, light sandy soil. Major states producing millet are Rajasthan, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. The Banaskara district in Gujarat leads in the millet production in Gujarat. Millet means is bajra. Yes, millet means bajra. Everybody likes this roti once in a blue moon, I think so. Some hate this rotla. But the strongest we can say that gives us a lot of strength is bajra. Apart from that, maize is there, pulses are there. No doubt we are going. Uh, if we go towards the South India, we won't get this thing. Now we will continue with maize. What are his maize? This is a Kharif crop. Maize is the most grown crop in the world after paddy and wheat. Maize is grown more in the hill area and it is the staple food of people. Maize contains starch, oil, protein, biofuel, etc. So it is used more in the industrial production. Sloppy, black, hard, rocky and water having gentle flow are most suitable for its cultivation. Rainfall between 50 to 100 cm and 21 degree to 27 degree temperature are favorable factors. Its usage is increasing as animal fodder, dhani and the oil. It is increasingly used as animal fodder, sorry, uh, used as animal fodder making popcorn and for edible oil. Major state producing maize are Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Punjab, Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh. Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. In Gujarat, maize is grown more in Panchmal, Dahu, Sabarkatha, and Aravali district. A very good form. We can say maize as we are fond of popcorns, as we are fond of the butta that we used to eat in our rainy season, especially boys and girls, young boys and girls. Now there is a trend over there to eat this butta, but you know why to eat in rainy season this particular maize. It gives our body a good heat. It gives lots and lots of fiber, and you can understand that it is uh, being worked for the animals. It has been given to the domestic animals so that they can give a lots and lots of uh, this uh, good type of uh, milk over there. So maize is also one type of a very good crop. You have to go through it. Nowadays maize oil is coming in market. Even I used to go through this oil from about 6 to 12 months. I am using maize oil and it has been very 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 good form in the form of it gives lots and lots of proteins. It's uh, very soft to digest. You can go through it especially my girls to go through these things and till that I would like to stop here. I know, I know you all have bored with the SS, but 
anyhow you have to go through it in the next session we will continue with pulses oil seal grounder system the muscular cotton lots and lots of thing that we are using in our daily life that what god have gifted to us god have gifted to us till that thank you thank you very much